Y'all, Honey Baked Ham ain't got nothing on this one. That's right, guys. We're putting a big old spiral ham on our Ninja Wolf fire today. Gonna give it some of that good smoky pecan pellet smoke. And we know we added tons of flavor to it. So guys, you ain't gonna wanna miss this one. And this is how you're gonna wanna do your Easter ham. Trust me. And you know, your random Tuesday ham too. You're gonna wanna do this way. All right, so there, all right. So first things first, let's address the fact that this ham is huge. It's over 10 pounds. So when I came outside to do a little test fitting and I'm using my XL here, okay? So keep that in mind, it didn't shut. <laughs> So I, I put the ham in there, it had the packaging, you know, all around it. So nothing's, you know, cross contaminating or whatever, but I put it in there, it would not fit. So what do we have to do? We had to take it in the house, get it out of the packaging, dry it off, all that good stuff. And then we had to do a little surgery on it. We turned it over to the bottom side of the ham shank there and chopped off about, I say, inch and a half, two inches, depending on the, you know, the level of it. So. We got that done. And being that it's already a spiral cut ham, it, you know, kind of caused it to, you know, kind of flop over. So that helps with the leveling height in there. So now it should fit. I haven't tested it out yet. We're gonna do this together, but it should fit. To get the ham ready to be on that grill, besides trimming it up, we gotta give it a little extra flavor, right? Right. So we used a little Mike's Hot Honey for a binder. So I rubbed that all over, uh, got it in some of the, the sliced out spots there. We're putting flavor all the way through it, right? Then we're using some Cosmos uh, Honey Pecan Rub and some uh, Honey Killer Bee. So we're going for a nice sweet barbecue flavor, right? That's what we use for those. Okay, got them all over. I got it in between the slices. So, you know, we're putting the flavor all the way through it. I know, uh, I know a lot of people when they got their honey baked hams, you know, they just got that, you know, coverage on the outside, but nothing's getting in the, in the slices, right? So this is what we did. We uh, spread them out and we got some of that seasoning in between the slices too. Now, once this comes up to temperature, we're going to give it a nice base. I'm using this stuff from Cosmos Q since we're just keeping with that theme of using Cosmos stuff. They got some apple butter. All right. So this is a, a product they have on their website. I'm going to melt that in the microwave and then we're just going to pour some over the top like a glaze. If you do not have this apple butter, heat up some apple juice in a saucepan, add some butter to it, add some honey to it, get it so it reduces a little bit, becomes a little syrupy. So you heat it up enough so some of that water evaporates in that apple juice and it will help make it a little bit more of a glaze. And then that's it. Once we give it some time for that glaze to set up, that apple butter to set up on there, we'll be ready to pull it off and we can give it a try. Shouldn't be too hard, right? I hope you're keeping along with me. If you're here with me this far, do me a favor, consider subscribing, hitting that thumbs up, all that good YouTube stuff. Comment down below how you like to do your Easter hams or what your family does on Easter, right? Let's talk about it. All right, y'all, nothing left to do but get this thing fired up. We're using smoking pecan pellets today. Those are the pellets made of pecan shells. They burn really clean, burn for a long time, give plenty of good smoke. I like using them on these uh, big cooks like this. So it's gonna add tons of flavor and tons of smoke to our uh, ham right there. Let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. Coming down here. Okay, we're gonna turn this bad boy on. Hello, how are you doing? Take it to the smoker mode. 275 is good. The two hours is fine. That'll take us where we wanna be. The wood fire flavor button's already lit. So let's hit start. Guys, in case I forgot to mention it, we are gonna do this at 275, and I'll put the Celsius here somewhere, right? And we're gonna do it for about an hour. This thing is fully cooked. We don't need to cook it to some internal temperature. I figure at an hour at 275 should take it to where it's warmed all the way through. We have plenty of time to get the smoke and the heat that it needs. I'll use my instant read, so, you know, shoot for 150, 160, that way we know it's heated all the way through in the middle. But other than that, we're not really kind of cooking cooking the temperatures on this one. Figure an hour should be enough, especially it's had time to sit out for a little bit and, uh, you know, come up with the temp a little bit. Not straight out of the refrigerator, right? Right. We're gonna wait for that smoke to start rolling, get that ham on, that much closer to eating it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, smoke is rolling, baby. Look at that. Time to get this beast on. Got me a big old spatula. Everybody always asks about this. It was given to me by a uh, pellet company that I work with. I'll try to find one online, but no guarantees. All right, get that bad boy on there. Looking good. Shut her down. All right, y'all. It's been actually an hour and 20 minutes or so. We got a temp out here, 160. Good enough for me. So we have our apple butter here from Cosmos. We've heated it up. Now we're just gonna pour some on. And we got a little basting brush here. Just brush it over. 
Try to get it in the cracks a little bit, in between the slices. Give it all a good painting. Give it a little bit more. All right, we're using the whole shebang on this. Now this apple butter is gonna melt in between into the slices here. It's gonna melt onto the grill underneath, flavor it a little bit in there too. So we're gonna shut this down and give it another 20 minutes, give or take. Set that butter up, be good to go, baby. Right, Y'all, time to take a look. Wow, look at that, guys. Get you a little closer in here. Beautiful colors. The apple butter looks amazing on there. Let's go ahead and get this thing off and we'll try a bite. Guys, it's looking too dang good. Whew. Done and done, everybody. We got the ham out of there. Got all the pictures taken for the gram, for the thumbnail, all that stuff. Uh, we got a little bite right here. Nice piece of uh, gorgeous ham. Yeah, not yeah, bad. Mm. Man, it's too damn good. Mm. Got a just a magical bite right there, guys. Mm. Listen, if you guys like a good honey baked ham, and I know there's a lot of people that do, but they're damn expensive. All right, this thing was on sale. I managed to get it for like a buck a pound. Like it was really, really inexpensive. So I took advantage of the deal, right? I used some barbecue spices I already had. So any sweet rub will work. Any sweet barbecue rub will work for this. Uh, if you guys want the Cosmos Q stuff I used, I'll put a link down below to their website. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. Just, you know, Cosmos a buddy and I like using this stuff. So that's it. Uh, that apple butter sitting on top right there. Added a nice glaze on top of the ham. And it wasn't me out here basting it for days. It was just like, put it on there, set it, forget it. So it's good stuff. And like I said, if you guys you know, don't have that apple butter, make your own glaze. Use a little honey, a little apple juice, a little butter. Let it uh, reduce. Let some of that apple juice evaporate a little bit. It'll make it a little thicker, syrupy stuff that you can baste with. But if you got to get that apple butter, it's, it's freaking good. Like, I'm enjoying this ham. Like, that was really tasty. So... If y'all want to get one of these wood fire grills, I'll have a link down below. It is an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you anything more to use it. For knives, cutting boards, merch, all the stuff I use in my videos, links are all down below. If you guys want to grab my wood fire cookbooks, I have four volumes, right? They're e-cookbooks, you download them, five bucks each, or if you get all four, you do a bundle for 15 bucks, save you a little bit of cash, and it helps out your boy, helps out the channel, all right? And another way you can help out the channel is to become a show producer, like all the awesome people scrolling in front of me right now, people that, you know, would take this ham over a honey baked ham any day of the week. There are two ways to join up. Either hit that Patreon link in my video description or hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we're done. Listen, I hope you have a happy Easter and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.